What's up guys, Dapper here, and we're back. Today we're going to be looking at some more advanced doors. So yeah, I was looking at these ones, and you know, they're a little plain. They're a little plain, so we, we want something a little uh, cooler, especially if we're going to be putting these in our base. So uh, over here I made a, a few more complex doors. They've got some ABBA circuits and ABC CBA circuits. And then I even went crazy, and I did a... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and then it does it in reverse. So, <clears throat> pretty crazy stuff. So, we will start over here with the first door I made. Um, so, this door slides open and then uh, does a 90 degree turn so you can go through it. And then, of course, I hooked it up to be automatic as well. Um, but this door is pretty cool. So, I, I like the whole concept of the spinning but the problem with the spinning was that it also clips so that's when i added the uh the pistons here that actually pull it away so it doesn't clip when it spins so we can see that again first it pulls it out and then it flips and then i even made everything line up now it's not perfect but you know it works <clears throat> so yeah this is probably I don't know, one of my favorite doors. Kind of looks cool. So uh, this is definitely more meant for a base because you definitely wouldn't have this kind of room to work with to hide everything uh, in a ship. I wouldn't think unless you're building a really big ship. You could, but uh, yeah, it's probably more applicable in a base setting. But yeah, that is the first door. Oh, and of course I, oh, I have to put no clip on. Of course, I hooked up the back as well. So yeah, normally you just wall all this stuff off so you don't see all the mechanisms. But yeah, let's move on to the next door. <clears throat> so this one I kind of made like a uh, like a key. Like you have to take the pins out for it to open. You can see that now. Then all these slide away. And then I hooked it up to be automatic as well. And then they slide back in. Pretty neat. So this was meant to be like a lock and key kind of thing. You can see the back side here. On the back side, it does it on the sides. You can get the angle from the back there. So again, this does take up a lot of room. As you see, I had to take away the floor and whatnot. And you would just wall all that off so you wouldn't be able to see it in a base. <clears throat> all right on to the next one. Ooh, this one's actually probably my favorite this one's really cool so uh this one is meant to be like a uh like a vault so like it has to unlock the door before it opens um i guess my timing's off here i'm not really sure what it should be set at um uh, but yeah you can mess with the timing a little bit so it actually only opens once it's spun uh wait which one of these is hooked up? That one. I think this. Let's try 2.5. That's a little better. Let's drop this one back to 2. Yeah, that should be good. So it closes, then it, then it turns. Again, there's a delay in these circuits, so you kind of have to wait for the circuit to, to kind of complete. That's a little better. So yeah, I just put a rotor in here and um it's actually i guess invisible i use it invisible blocks i don't know what you'd call it so i set this up and then like i put a block in between and then i just erased all the blocks that were in there so it's technically connected to this front block here so yeah pretty cool i set up the back side as well so we can take a look at it now if i did this again i would probably uh move that over a little bit because as you see when it opens up that cut that circle's kind of hanging out like right here show it to you one more time like right here i'd probably try to move that into the wall a little bit more but uh yeah this is just a concept so i'll go over these circuits as well if you want to build these for yourself <clears throat> now this one this one's super complex so i actually went through a few iterations to get this to work so in a lot of these, I'm using this circuit here, which is an ABBA. 
uh, if it'll work. Yeah, you kind of got to wait for it to get out. Start from scratch. All right, so if you click it, A goes first, then B. And then if you click the same button again, B, then A. So it does it in reverse order. Uh, so this is the same thing, except it's A, B, C. This one's super finicky, by the way. So that'll do the same thing. So I messed around with that concept, but connecting multiple to each other. So over here we have the ABCD or ABC circuit right here. And um, that, when this fired off, the first one, it would fire off an ABC circuit right here. So it would do these first three. And then it would do B, which would do an AB circuit, which is uh, uh, this guy right here, these four. So it would fire off these two in the next order. And then finally, uh, it would fire off another AB circuit right here. Now, at one point I did have three. So it was uh, up to nine, nine lights would go off, even though I didn't need the ninth. Uh, so I had, you know, ABC to ABC to ABC to ABC. It was crazy. Uh, it didn't really work very well just because, you know, the timings on these is super finicky. I'll show it to you here. So that fires off and you can kind of see it in the lights. You see how it like jumps a little bit. So you'd have to like mess around with the timing a lot. And uh, I just didn't like the way it looked when it was operating this door because uh, this door, I made it like a maze here. I'll, sh I'll show you how it works real quick. So we'll go ahead and click the button here. So then the thing does the maze and then it opens. So my final product on this one uh, so it shuts and it does the same thing in reverse it kind of glitched out because I, I hit the button there but uh I did it with this circuit over here so this thing it's kind of a monster and it doesn't always work the greatest but here's the idea it would go through all the steps in order and I've got a timer to to make sure it finishes the maze and then waits in the last one so it opens the door for better effect and then I have these AND gates set up so when you click it again I hope, I hope it works oh yeah there it goes huh? yeah there it goes okay so there's a little bit of delay on it but uh it would do it in reverse order uh, it took me a while to get this set up but um yeah I mean it works so it does each step uh with no delay whereas this one would be like step one step two three four five you know it would, it would kind of freak out in the middle and uh it just wasn't worth going through and trying to find all the combinations of timings that worked when uh i could just build this one over here and have it have it work much smoother so you can set these um to any times you want for each step so if you want to do something crazy you know uh, maybe you had like the craziest landing gear ever and had eight steps to get out. Um, you could set that up with this kind of circuit. It'd be big and uh, sometimes it could be glitchy, but it would work. So, so this running here is actually turning them all on. So the on switch is this guy here. Each, each of these four is a circuit uh, and it would wait 0.5 seconds before it turns them all on. And then I have this wired up back to this AND gate. So when you click the button again, it's coming from the button. And when this one is powered, uh, it'll it'll trip the AND gate and then send the signal backwards. So that's this bottom portion. So then, th then it goes through and turns them all off. That's kind of how it works. And each of these circuits is just a nor, nor, or and timer which i set to 0.2 because i found that was the least glitchy and it's just wired in a circle so uh that's your that's your on switch that's your off switch so we can hit that again and i do have a timer delay over here four seconds uh, i'm not sure why i have that to four seconds i think this one two Let's do one second for this. That's why we have that delay when it starts up. So let's try this one more time. We'll open it. And 
waits and then it opens the door and then okay so that shuts much much cleaner and then i have a timer delay on the second block i maybe yeah three second delay that way it shuts the door first and then it does the main so yeah guys that's that i was working on another door over here um I wanted to set this up on camera, but it's a bit too complicated and it didn't work very well. So uh, I wanted to make a super ridiculous door, like for no reason, would just flip around and then open. But uh, yeah, it's obviously not the greatest. So it's just kind of a, a concept. But uh, if you want to see how I wired this up, actually, let's go over here to my board and then I can kind of show you the circuits. So this was the, uh, the A, B, uh, C circuit and, this, and it'll go C, B, A in reverse. And that's just wired up like this. If you want to, you know, pause the video at each section and see what I did. So that'll be the third thing that fires off. And then this OR gate goes to these three. Timer goes to two. And then each one of these goes to the timer. And then the timer is uh, one and two. So uh, if you want to see my times that I have set up, this was like, you know, after a little bit of experimentation to figure out the best times, that's how it's set up. And uh, they work. <clears throat> like I said, they're just not the greatest. So I did prefer this circuit when making this super complex door. Uh, and here's the AB circuit, if you wanted to see it. These are just cross wired. So then that's the, the OR gates first, and then the AND gate is second. Uh, these are also OR gates here and here, and those are those two are ANDs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this was just experiment, uh, experimenting, uh, trying to figure out how to do this. So this was before I solved it. I was just trying to get ideas on how to maybe send a backwards signal to send it through it all. But uh, I went with the, uh, here's my, what happened? Here's my backwards signal now. And, uh, oh yeah, I might as well touch on this. In the future, I'm going to try to make some sort of piece of art. I'm not really sure what it's going to be, but I don't know. I just find hinges to be so cool. So maybe like some stairs will come down. Um, something like that. We'll see what happens. Um, it'd be cool to have like a moving sculpture or something. But yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.